Champy. What happened? What happened? We are recording. Where is it? This we are from the Christmas list. Walk up closer now so oh he can't God. hear you. Walk up. Alright. Where is it? This was on the Christmas list and Santa brought it. AKA Santa Claus bring it. Champy. Champy. I watch Champy. I'm a sister. That. Yep. Look at the girl at Jewel. Look at him at Jewel. Have mercy. Alright. So today we have the Famba Wear. A Famba Wear, right, Carly? Yeah. F no, Farber Wear. Get it right. You don't know if you read. So, as you already hear, this was on the Christmas list. So we got this gift for present for add to the house. Where, what would you call it? Upholstery? No. House appliances. Jesus. Oh, yeah. A fun, a fun, you, you hear that? A fun house appliance. So as you can see, it's a waffle maker. But it's a double side waffle maker. Me do you almost going to say pancake. You see me, I'm going to catch myself. So anyway, as you can see, it's a double side waffle maker. And here it is, out the box. So this is what basically come inside the box. You have your waffle maker. You have your pouring container and you have your instruction manual you know so we are man we don't use instruction manual so that's that way so the waffle maker itself basically very simple you know we are a lot um and talk about the features of this as you can see you have your turn arrow so you can actually rotate and that's the next size so that's that's how you make two waffles all at once and then you see you turn arrow again so you turn it back that way and there's your next side to the next waffle down here is your little latch for open the waffle makers so what you want to do is pull back and then you can open it Ta -da! so if you want to close it you just push it back in then you rotate you pull this loose and you open it again. Yo, you know, see me I make a video, you know, did they are talking at the background. You know, some proper decency. You know, think, all right, we don't know if they care. So, down here, um, you can choose if you want to make the waffles light or dark. I like mine just in the middle, you know, just a little caramel, just like me, like my skin tone. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, me ask. What do you mean if me ask? Me ask. Me ask you and the video people them same. You know, me can't work like this. That's why you not have good proper help. You, you just that's why we have a camera with self, everything. So this is your on and off switch. So it's pretty simple. So you turn it on when you're using it, and then you choose how dark or um what kind of finish you're looking for on the waffle. So. We're going to go ahead and get started and make a look of waffles, right? Yeah, chicken and waffles. We're going to make chicken and waffle tonight. That's for dinner. Chickens and waffle, right? Mm -hmm. And grape soda. Yeah, oh, geez, forget it. We're not no grape soda. So, <laughs> so, most importantly, we have with Aunt Jemima pancake mix. So, they sell waffle, waffle mix too. Yeah, but, but you can... Yeah, you see it on the box. So then you can you can basically use what you want, any type of local flour mixer so to make the waffles, whoever you want. They had the low fat one. They had the the what what the other one? They have buttermilk. They have the one what's the non mother smell the skit. So you know the yeah you know that thing non GMO non mother smell the skit. The word that nobody can pronounce. You know that one? Okay. So we had the Aunt Jemima. So, we're going to go ahead and start make a little thing. So, when the machine is fully warmed up, you see you have a green light letting you know that it's ready to go. And also, it's followed by a couple of beeps. And that means you're ready to start making your waffles. Here, I have the mix already made. Um, you can use the local pouring cup if you want but 
I'm going to just go ahead and use my container and I would also recommend before you actually use the product you get a wet rag or so and clean it off you, you know look at crumbs or dust box crumbs or anything like that might be on it and also to clean it is um is a non-stick surface so you can take a rag or any type of safe cleaning um type of rag and just wipe it down and that's how you clean it because you can't really take it apart so as you can see we pour some of the mixed butter on it and you see the steam and it basically states in the instruction that we check after all that once you pour the butter into the machine the same indicator lights will turn green and will also beep when the butter is done being made and you won't see any steam anymore so as you can see you see the steam coming off of it and you don't see any light so it says it takes three to six minutes depending on the recipe for the waffles to be done so now we just wait and till we get the indicator light and the steam is all gone so the green light just um, came on and we got the beeps so as you can see this is the waffle after it basically indicates it's done the other side just says it's done as well but as you can see we have waffles where yeah. is anisha we have waffle yeah. we have waffles so she i look probably like me crazy mm -hmm. so as i say you can choose how dark or how well done you want it this one look all right yeah, I can brown this one we're going to brown it a little bit more but as you can see the product do what you say you're going to do the waffles are decent size they size about a good a good size good size pancake yeah them pretty decent so i mean two of these and you should be good so this is the waffle maker I would recommend the product we're going to go ahead and make some more waffles you can add all kind of different butters or so drop fruit in it dried fruit whatever you want and have fun so thanks Santa Claus TT for the waffle maker where's Anisha? Thanks, big up you. Mm -hmm. all right then